All right, y'all, this is Big Rich. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, share this, you know what I'm saying, be a part of the movement. Uh, this is a topic that um, a lot of people don't want to talk about, but you know me being at Real Boxing Facts, you know what I mean, I got to talk about it. Um, and this is just my opinion, you know, I always look, I always say Real Boxing Facts, I always try to keep it real as I possibly can. It's hard, you know what I'm saying, because um, boxing itself is very sensitive. You know what I mean? You're talking about uh, people's boxing lives and you're talking about, you know what I mean, things that go on in boxing that a lot of uh, fans don't understand because they're not behind the scene. You know what I mean? But being behind the scene, you know how sensitive boxers are and boxing people are about their boxers. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to be sensitive. But we got to be honest, you know, and... The one thing about it is that most of these boxing trainers are great. You know what I mean? A lot of them don't get a lot of money. A lot of them, some of them die broke. And these are trainers we're talking about. We're not even talking about boxers. We know boxers, majority of the boxers, you know what I'm saying, uh, die broke because of their lifestyle that they chose to live. But what about the trainers? You know what I mean? Um, and it's sad because most trainers, you know, are not obligated. They can't say nothing because they actually work for the boxer. And if they were to be outspoken, then they would probably be, you know what I'm saying, um, <clears throat> left off the next bus or plane. Okay. And that's sad because a lot of these trainers have been with some of these boxers since they was kids. And, um, it's one thing that I, that, that I saw that really disturbed me. That um, I remember back in the day, I had to ask some boxers about, you know, something that was simple. It was just very simple. And it was it was just a loyalty test to understand who the people I was dealing with. And honestly, it all panned out the way I thought it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, but one thing about it is that, you know, when you're living in a situation where... You you are basically taking care of a person, you know, going to the amateurs. You know, that costs money. You know what I mean? We talking about gas. We talking about tickets, plane tickets. We talking about, you know what I'm saying, food. We talking about travel, hotel fees, all kind of money that builds up. And then what happens normally is... When you do it, that all that you do, all of that, all of that, what you do for your boxer and for the for the family. Most of the time, you don't even make it. Most of the time, you don't make it to get all that money. So the the, the fighter end up losing, and once you lose in boxing, man, your 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 it's unfortunate, but it ain't like you know what I'm saying the UFC. But when you lose in boxing, your your stock goes all the way down. You know what I mean? You start to, you know, it's, it's sad, but it's true, you know? So, you can't lose in boxing, especially when you're coming up. Now, maybe once you've made a name for yourself, I mean a huge name for yourself, you might be able to get away with losing a, a, a bout or two. But when you're on top like that, in order to make money in prize fighting, you got to keep winning. You know what I mean? I remember uh, Gary Shaw told me once, and we was, I was working at HBO, I was working with HBO, um, at a fight out in New York, and he told me about a boxer. He said, uh, we was at the bar, and he said, yeah, everything's good as long as you keep winning. And that that rings to the day. That, that, that stuck in my mind, and that just told me how crazy it is how you're on this road of success, and if you lose one bout, your stock goes all the way down. You know what I mean? Now, for the trainer, you know, I heard. That trainers are supposed to get 10% of the purse. Well, that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? You get a million dollars, the trainer get a hundred thousand. But that's not how it really go. It don't really go like that. You know what I mean? Uh, you got some trainers that are good and that are popular that may have their shit more together where they can, you know, demand that, that they get at least 10 or 15%. You know what I mean? But these boxers don't even take care of their trainers. They don't. You know what I mean? You sitting in a uh a ten million dollar house and, and your and your trainer sitting in an apartment. 
How, how, how make that make sense? Make just make that make sense. How's he in an apartment? You you don't have enough umps to go and be like, you know what? Let me go buy him a house cash so he ain't got to worry about his housing. You know what I mean? Let me take care of this man that took care of me when I was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? Who wasn't making no money. He spent all his money getting you to be where you are now. And you don't even have the umps. He shouldn't even have to ask you for nothing. You know what I mean? You should be doing this on your own. Whether it's 10%, 15%, or 50%. Whatever the cut is. You know what I mean? That you're not giving him. You know what I mean? He shouldn't even have to ask you for that. I didn't see it with my own eyes. You know what I mean? I've been in many, 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 many camps. And I know who getting taken care of and who ain't. And it's sad because I'm going to tell you one thing about life. Anytime, you know what I'm saying, someone have to ask me for money, whether that's a boxer or a trainer, that's a bad, that's a bad, bad, bad sign. I'm the media guy. You know what I mean? So it's telling me that this whole boxing thing, they don't have no regulations, is not what it seems to be. So when somebody asks me why this fighter fought this or why Ryan Garcia ain't fought nobody, you know what I'm saying, and, and he only fought Campbell and, and now he's just not fighting Tank, man, I wasn't mad at Ryan for that. I wasn't mad at Ryan. You know what I mean? I, I wanted Ryan to get money for the next two years, two or three years. He got sponsorships and all that shit. Now he's he making money now. Now he can go fight. He lose. Okay, well, he lost. Now, you know what I mean? He go get it, get it back. It's okay. But when you get it back, get that back to the trainer. You know what I mean? Give that money back to the trainer. Pay what you owe. Stop being greedy. And I'll break it down. You get that million dollars that you thought you was a million. It's not a million. It's only 700000 You got to pay 300000 in taxes, depending on how you got your taxes set up. You know what I mean? Then you got to pay your manager. Then you got to pay your, your trainer. You got to give your trainer 10% of that. You know what I mean? People got bills. And the way they didn't screwed over these trainers, I know ain't nobody going to talk about this. That's why I'm talking about it. I got to keep it 100, man. You know what I mean? It's not right for you to do what you do. And then don't take care of the people who helped you do what you do. You know what I mean? I'm not saying giving random checks or random cash to some people that's just on the streets. I'm talking about the people who helped you make this money. You know what I mean? I'm speaking to all trainers out there. Look, get your business right. Get your contracts set up right so that you can get paid the way you're supposed to get paid. Because I know most of y'all trainers don't set yourself up like that because you think that you, you got a verbal contract. And I'm just going to tell you in America, verbal contracts don't mean shit. If you don't have your business set up right where you can get paid, Every time you put all them hours in, because you're not getting paid all the hours that you're going to training every day. You're training somebody every day, all the hours, four or five hours a day training somebody. You ain't getting paid for that. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting paid. You're getting paid for the fight. You're not getting paid for all that extra stuff that you do. All the time, you got to run people around the corner. You got to take them here and there. You know what I mean? You got to do this. You know what I'm saying? You got to fly out. You got to go do interviews. You ain't getting paid for all that stuff. You know what I mean? So set your business up correctly so that you can get paid correctly. You know what I mean? So it won't be no misunderstandings. When you're dealing with fighters, you know what I mean? I don't care if you've been knowing them since you was a baby. Make sure your business is right so you can get paid. And that's all I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? And I know all y'all people that's out there, all y'all boxers, you know what I mean? Man, y'all motherfuckers, some of the fakest people I've known in my life. You know, how the hell you not going to give your trainer, the person that's with you every single day, you not going to pay him correctly. You know what I mean? You want to sit up there and make him beg. You want to make him beg and make him be that yes person. You should never want your trainer to be a yes person. That's the person that's closest to you. He going to tell you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. You know what I mean? And if you ain't, you think you're too big to listen to your trainer, your trainer looking out for your best interest. All these other people that you're doing interviews with just because they got these big names. Oh, I'm about to go do an interview. Man, so what, man? That person ain't next to you. He getting he getting his his views off of you. But you, that trainer right there that you're treating like shit, you know what I mean, that's with you every single day. You know what I mean? He can't tell you what I'm telling you right now. You know what I mean? Because you're going to get offended. 
Because most boxers is just like that. This big rich, I'm out.